That is awesome, dude. Look how red he is. That's real animal style right there. <laughs> look at that. That is a day maker, baby. Oh, look at that. Today's Real Animals Adventure has me headed back to Isla Palm, South Carolina, just outside of Charleston. I'm gonna spend the day fishing with my really good friend, Captain Ben Alderman. Hey gang, today I am in beautiful Isle of Palms, South Carolina, just outside of Charleston, South Carolina, with my main man here, Captain Ben Alderman. Nobody better in Charleston than Ben. Ben's taking me fishing. What do you think, buddy? I think we're going to have a great day. It's a beautiful day. It's the best time of the year. It's got great weather. It's got fish everywhere. I'm ready to go catch them. I'm, I'm ready to go catch them, I'm too. I'm ready to go hit. We're going to, right now, we got high tide. We're going to go bang some a bunch of areas and kind of power fish for a little while until the tide starts going out. Then we can go get on some big groups of them and hopefully, hopefully jack them pretty good. It's the best time of the year. Hopefully we can make something happen. I like it. I like it. We'll see what the good Lord gives us. Can't wait. You know, I guess I fished with Ben probably seven or eight years ago, made a trip up here. Uh, we didn't really at that time get to schedule it for the right time of year. And we got here and the fishing was really tough. Uh, we caught fish because Ben's a, a great captain, he's a great guide, uh, but we really had to grind. And in the years since then, Ben has been telling me, man, if you can get here late in the fall, November, October, December timeframe, when the water temp starts to come down, I'll put you on some fish. So knowing we were coming at the right time and looking at the forecast, it looked like we were gonna have a really good weather window. I was pretty excited to make this trip happen. You know, one of the things about throwing artificials with, a, with your buddy on the boat or your better half on the boat, it's always good to start the morning out with two different colors. Ben's going with a little, he's got a pretty white belly. I'm gonna go green here. This is the uh, swimming caffeine shad. He's using the rage swimmer. So we're even using kind of a different profile bait. We'll see who starts to get the most action and then you can always switch gears, but always start a little bit different. That way you can kind of find out what that morning mood is. It's a trout. It's a trout. Yeah, if it's a trout, it's a dandy, but I think it's a red fish. It's a dandy. Yeah. I hope it's a trout. I think it's a red dog. Yeah, five pound trout. That would be good, right? Because we're going to catch some red fish. It's a Look at that trout. Oh, my goodness gracious. That's a stud. Wow. Oh, look at the back of him. Oh. Yes. That might be one of the biggest trout I've ever caught. Oh, Seriously. It's a, nice, a nice thickie, isn't it? That it is, is a nice. ridiculous. When you stick a speckled trout and you think you have a redfish, you know you have a oh, trout. Absolutely. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Big yellow mouth. Woo, what a trout. Jiminy Christmas. Woo, a little face splash to go. I love it. Wow. That's a great fish. 
That is a great fish. As, as you get on the water here and you anticipate that big fall uh, and those fish pouring out of those creek mouths, you know, looking for the safety of the deeper water, it's really an incredible scene. Uh, it turns and drops so quick. Even with, we had a little bit of northeast wind, which, which holds, it holds the tide up a little bit in this estuary. But once it started to dump, it was absolutely incredible. And just like Ben said, as soon as that tide got right, it was game on. There's something. Another trout. Another trout. All right, let's start the break. Power pole down, as we like to say. Our fun. Oh, it's a spell. Another trout. Yeah, another, another trout. trout. Where is it supposed to be? Doesn't seem to matter which estuary you're in, it's one of the prettier fish that we have. I gotta try to get ahead of Ben while I can. <laughs> All right, I saw a stingray. Oh, I just got bit right there. Follow me in. Right there, right there, okay, right okay. there. That's right it. Here. This is it. I got Catch hit right fish. there. He's on you? Yeah. Little baby? Little, yeah. Little rat red. He hit it and swam right at me. I thought I got bit and missed him. <laughs> blue tail though. The tail is pretty and blue. Perfect. There he is, I watched him eat it. Hey. I watched him eat it, that was awesome. Nice. Oh wow. Came up after the paddle? He just absolutely crushed it. Hey, we'll take it, little slot guy. Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo. Well, even in that dark water, that bronze roll was Ooh. absolutely gorgeous. Oh, nice. Incredible. I see some more up here. Wow. <laughs> Woo. Nice job. See if I can catch one today. Wow. Tell you what, Florida in the house. I'm with you. I'll take it. That was really cool. When you can watch a redfish just roll a bait, I, I just, I don't know if it gets any better than that. That's absolutely incredible. Nice, nice fish too. Nice job. Pretty fish. See, that's one I want here coming up Saturday. Yes, you do. <laughs> Some shoulders, beautiful spot. Because I can bet you that fish is probably 23 inches. Yeah, that was that was a meat chicken right there for you. Got a lot of. Oh, right after I got popped off with the immediate pop. Whoo! Uh-huh, pretty spot. Blue tail, look how blue that tail is again. There's so much bait here and so much nutrients in the water that these fish are healthy. They're big, they're strong, they're active. The water temps are down, 60, 70 degree water temps, you know, uh, 66 to 70 degrees. It was just really a perfect scenario. And as usual, when Ben Alderman says, you need to be here in the fall, when I came, the bite was on, and we caught some great fish. You got her? Oh yeah. boy. I'm trying to get the trolling letter. Good fish. Change the trolling letter. Oh boy. That's what I'm trying to do, the trolling letter. But he's another little baby there. He's another only big guy. dogs. Nice fish, though. Want some help, buddy? Hey. He ate the artificial. Let me get him for you. Little guy. You got one with no spot. Head. No spot on it. A little bit different head. Spotless redfish. Seen them with tons of spots, and now with no spots. Uh. 
there's just some guys that you meet on your journey that no matter how often you see them or how seldom you talk to them maybe, that when you get together you just have this kind of energy, this uh, ability to really enjoy fishing with one another. And that's how I am with, with Captain Ben Alderman. He's just a special guy. Um, and for me, it's real simple. I love to fish with people who are absolutely addicted to their craft, who just love to catch fish. And that is definitely Captain Ben Alderman. He's one of the best I've ever seen do it. He's won many, many redfish titles all over the southeastern United States. He's a great angler. He's a great person and somebody I highly recommend you come and enjoy a day on the water with. There he is, a boy. It's a better fish, too. A little better. Yeah, that's a better fish. A powerful. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. It looks a lot of drag. There you go, that's a better like fish. Like your first one. Oh boy. Nice. Woo, that's pretty. Another one I'd be really anxious to put on the board. Saturday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd be hoping he made it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He, oh, he, he lumped it too. He's 23. He's 22 and a half. He's right there. Oh yeah. That's the one you want. <sighs> and he lumped that raid swimmer. I mean. He loved it, yeah. And the person that ate it hammered it. Yeah. Well, and you know, this white belly with that dark back mimicking that mullet, that makes a big difference. Hey gang, this week's Real Animals Tip of the Week, I want to talk to you about my good friends at Strike King Lures. You know, everybody's heard of Strike King Lures on the freshwater side. It's one of the best selling bass baits that's bass bait companies on the market. You know, they got all the best pros and, you know, they catch all the bass. It's all good. That same group has designed some phenomenal saltwater baits. Some of them listed under their saltwater series and some of them you can find under their bass series like the Rage Swimmer. This paddle tail bait right here is an absolute redfish killing machine. It is unbelievable. We've caught big oversized redfish, we've caught slot redfish, we've caught small redfish, all on that Rage Swimmer bait. Phenomenal bait. You know I love the KVD Swimming Caffeine Shad. I don't know what it is about this piece of paddle tail right here, but it is absolutely game changing. I've caught many, many 40 inch fish on this bait right here. It's absolutely a game changer. KVD Swimming Caffeine Shad. You know the Redfish Magic glass minnow here, this rubberized body, this Elastec here, super stretchy, super durable, catch trout after trout after trout, fish after fish on this bait right here. You know they now have the Trout Magic as well which comes with this killer little blade on the bottom. Wintertime trout, they definitely can't turn this down, all the extra flash in the water. Just a great, great saltwater lineup here from Strike King Lures and don't forget, Bar none, the best jig head on the market. More tournament anglers on the saltwater and freshwater side use this jig head than any other. And I guarantee you, super tough hooks, great body grabber right here. Just a great, great versatile hook. Go to strikekinglures.com. Ask for their saltwater lures at a dealer near you. You won't be disappointed. This is a very versatile, very great way to catch fish in fresh and salt water.
You know, whenever you go to an estuary that is, I would call dirty water estuary, Louisiana comes to mind, Jacksonville, Charleston, where you have all this mud bottom and these huge tides that, that really dirty things up. Clean water here and clean water in, in Central Florida and the Keys, places like that, it's not the same. You're looking for just a little bit cleaner water than, than what you get in, in a main runoff in a straight mud flow. Um, and, and it's interesting because you, you, when you find it, you find those fish. It, 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 it doesn't matter, fish or fish or fish in all these estuaries. And if you find the clean water, you're gonna find fish. I gave him, I left him face to make that cast. <laughs> that one's a sprinter. It was really neat to watch kind of the day unfold because, you know, Ben had mentioned that tide's gonna be high. We're gonna start fishing just as it turns to go out. And it was interesting that we kind of grinded a little bit because that tide just, it took a little bit with the northeast wind to get it to flow. Once it started to dump, I stuck a little bitty redfish and we stuck another small redfish, and then it was like a domino effect. They just started to come out of the woodwork. Just like Ben said, once they start to dump out of that marsh and get on those edges, they just roll in. And if you're with the right guy that knows where those fish are headed, you can have a magical day. Oh. <laughs> Angry, party of one. Nice fish. Well, I'll tell you what, if you can find these bad boys tourney day, my friend. Oh, I'm coming back. You're going to be a happy no, camper. believe me, I'm coming right back. <laughs> you're going to be a happy camper. That's why when those, that, that other boat came through, that other boat came through and he rode right through here, but it was it was early. It took a long time for everything to develop. Today. Yeah, well, that wind was, holding the tide up. The wind is holding that tide in. Y'all know it's just the opposite on y'all's coast. Oh, Ben! Stop. I stopped paying attention and got bit. That is incredible. Monster. And yours was a big one and oh, mine's a little big. And I can't stop it. I can't stop the boat. Hold I got it, I got it. You got the powerful. I got the power pole. I got it, I got it, I got it. Dang, we had our double. God. That was a big fish too. You had a big one. I had that a fish one. I had was a big fish. Absolutely. You could, and that was your opportunity to show me up with a big one and a little one. Oh. Oh. Clean break. Clean oh. break? Dude, just oh. leader. Took the 25 pound oh. leader and just crushed it. Should have had 30. Woo! Wow, that was a big fish. You know, anytime a, a, a guy can make a living putting people on fish, that's all he does. A full time charter captain, full time guide, 25 years, you know that's pretty special. You're with a guy who can figure fisheries out good weather, bad weather, you know, freezes and red tides and all the different things that great fishermen have to deal with. A guy like Captain Ben Alderman is special because he knows based on what the tide's doing, what the water temp is doing, he knows what part of that tide those fish are gonna be on. Fire, he knew, you know, speckled trout, couple little red fish. He just kept telling me under his breath, I could hear him, the big ones are coming, the big ones are coming, the big ones are coming. And lo and behold, just like clockwork, they did. He's done this hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times for people, and today he did it for me. There he is again. There he is, I watched him eat it. There he is. Yeah. 
There he is. There you go, Captain. Nice work. He's swimming right at me, boy. Nice work. Little Deemer. Nice work, Captain. Nice fish, too. Nice work, Captain. It's you, buddy. You're the I captain today. Me. I saw him chase me. <laughs> but I couldn't make, I couldn't close the deal. You know, I, I, I just can't thank Captain Ben Alderman enough, you know, taking a couple of days off from what he does to put me on some fish is really spectacular. I cannot say enough good things. Isla Palms, Charleston, South Carolina, absolutely an incredible fishery. If you've never been here, put it on your list. Come visit, go fishing. I guarantee you'll enjoy it.